Now today up on the channel, we're gonna be taking a trip over to Milestone Perfumes. And I have a fragrance here with me called Elixir. Now this does look like something from the house of Zhuzhov. Really not sure what it is cloning. If you're in the market for the budget friendly fragrance for the fall and winter time, you might wanna stay tuned to check out this video. This is Elixir from Milestone Perfumes. Guys, we back with another one, man. Shouts out to everybody that checks out the fragrance show on a weekly basis. Um, salute to all my new subscribers and return subscribers. Y'all know I try to reply back to everybody when it comes down to the comment section. Also, shouts out to my other content creators in the fragrance space as well. So yes, we have a fragrance called Elixir from Milestone Perfumes. Now, from the look of this bottle and this presentation, it looked like they're trying to interpret something from the House of Zhuzhov. Like I said, the bottle is definitely giving me Zhuzhov vibes, um, for sure. Let me see if I got something right here. I am going to spray it for y'all. I was able to find a nice note breakdown too online uh, when it comes down to this fragrance. Um, but man, right off the bat, when you spray this one, it does smell of nice class. Um, that's one thing I can say from the one fragrance that I did own from Zhuzhov, I think it was called Torino 21. It smelled of high class and high perfumery. Now I know this is just a clone guys, but man, just smelling that in the air, it has like left a nice sheen up on your boy hand. This one smells it's really, really nice, guys. So let's get into the note breakdown with this. Top notes is some rosewood, some lavender, some cinnamon, and some apple. Now, the first note that I smell when I first spray this fragrance is that sweet apple that I'm picking up on and the little woody combination of rosewood. I'm not really getting the lavender like that unless I really sniff real hard, it is there. The only note I'm not picking up on is that they have listed here, if this is the true note breakdown, is cinnamon. But I do smell the apple and I smell the rosewood. Now, in the mid, they said we're gonna get some rose, cedar, lily of the valley, and in the base, some oud wood, sandalwood, amber, and vanilla and some musk so when i did wear this one i did take this fragrance to work because i did want to give it the work test being as though we all we are into the fall season now and only notes i really wasn't getting was that oud note you know what i mean i do like the sandalwood is smooth um that lily of the valley does give it a slight kind of floral vibe in the mid i'm still you know, I, I, unless I'm just not getting that cinnamon, I definitely totally missed the cinnamon note, but definitely picking up on the Lily of the Valley. Nella note did start to show itself, but that was completely, completely when this fragrance was dried down and the musk also came through as well. Now, you have to ask yourself, well, some people might say, well, you know, if you never smelt the OG, how you know if this is a correct clone? I'm not making this video for you know to try to say that this is a, a match to what is cloning you know what i mean this is basically coming down to how does this fragrance smell it does look like something from the house of Giorgio, but it's coming down to how does this fragrance smell will it be a nice add to your fall and winter rotation that's just my thoughts i'm giving to y'all um so you know as it sit right here on my skin and once again we have a nice shine going on really nice interesting scent profile here man you know and i'm asking myself can i see myself wearing this fragrance going out and yeah i think it's more so uh when it comes down to time of day with this fragrance i think it'll definitely shine more at night i think it can be used for seasons like spring afternoons going into the night um uh fall uh winter man I really enjoyed the opening. Like I said, just a couple notes I'm not picking up on with my nose is the cinnamon, and I'm not getting no oud as well. They have a note listed down there as oud. But other than that, you know, if you guys are looking for a nice fragrance, something with some nice presentation to be sitting up on your shelf, 
then you might want to check out Elixir from Milestone Perfume. It did good. Slightly above average, got between like that five and a half, six hour mark since I've been owning the fragrance. Um, wore it to work, it passed the work test. Only thing I will say with this one, with this scent profile, I do wish it just was a tad bit louder as far as like uh, projecting, you know what I'm saying? It's not a bad projector, but for those notes of like having vanilla and musk and and sandalwood and cinnamon, apple, um, rosewood, I just wish this profile just screamed a little bit more off my skin. But the projection on it was definitely good, slight above average for the first hour. It does, it is giving me a vibe of something you might want to respray after like the fourth hour just to freshen yourself up if you are into a spraying but nevertheless for the price point i think it hovers between 30 and 35 bucks this is nice man it smells of high class perfumery to be that price whether it's a clone to whatever it is cloning from zherzhov if you would like to add something to your collection for this fall and winter you want to smell of high class definitely giving me a gentleman that's vibe when it comes down to the scent profile Check out Elixir from Milestone Perfumes. Thanks for watching another video with your guy, man. If you need more content, click on that video header up above. If you want to like and subscribe to the channel, you can go ahead and do that as well. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Salute.